everybody, this is Madison Dennis with MHD Beauty, MHD Cosmetics, and Nashville Wedding Stylist out of Nashville, Tennessee. Today I wanted to do a pageant hair styling tutorial for you guys. As you know, I mostly part my hair down the middle. Um, some of you pageant contestants out there part your hair to the side, some down the middle. So um, just for the sakes of this tutorial, I am parting my hair down the middle and kind of doing that USA Victoria's Secret wave style. I see a lot of you wearing this style for swimsuit if you don't typically wear your hair like this. So maybe this is going to be useful for you. Um, but without further ado, here is the tutorial. So the first thing is I washed my hair yesterday and didn't really touch it all day so it's pretty clean. And then I blue dried it myself. So I'm just going to brush this out. And um, what I like to do is start with the bottom. So I'm going to do a lateral section all the way across and clip up everything else to get it out of the way. So now I'm going to split it and my hair is pretty long so I'm sorry if you can't see everything at the end. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with this Rusk Thermal Flat Iron Spray. And what this does is it protects the hair but it also provides hold for um, when you put thermal products on it, so straightener, flat iron, um, curling iron. So to curl my hair, I'm gonna be using a one inch curling iron. This one is the extra long barrel from Hot Tools. And I like this because, as you can see, I'm gonna get all the way to the end. As you spiral it up, notice that the hair doesn't wrap around on top of each other. It's actually wrapping onto the metal itself. So I'm going to unwrap it. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm going to be curling my hair in pretty small sections. Um, I'm going to be curling it away from my face all the way around and when I get to the back I'm going to flip it and on this side I'm going to be curling it that way. So now that I'm done with this section, I'm going to take my favorite finishing hairspray, Kenra number 25, and I'm going to spray the entire section, just a couple good sprays, before moving on to the next. So I've got my next section pulled down, and I'm essentially just going to be doing the same thing. Notice I haven't done any teasing. Um, on these lower sections, that's not something that you necessarily need to do. Um, it's really more about the top section. So what I'm doing now is just spraying the rusk spray. I'm going to spray that on all of it. And if you're wondering what brush I'm using, I'm using the Olivia Garden Finger Brush. And this is the large size. Okay, so now this section is curled, so I'm going to spray with the Kendra hairspray again. Notice how I haven't brushed out anything. Um, you want to wait until the very end to do that so that your curls have time to cool. Okay, so now I have um, 
my last section that I'm going to curl like this and again I'm just repeating all the steps I did before I'm going to spray with the Rusk thermal protectant spray all the way around Okay, so last time I'm going to spray with the Kenra number 25 hairspray. Now, so this is the most important part of pageant hair. Um, everything else, whether you're parting it down the middle, down the side, is all going to be the same. But this part, the top part, is where you're going to get most of your volume. Um, it's where you're also going to decide which way to part your hair. So I actually like to part my hair down the middle. Um, but what I'm gonna do, so notice how I've got this whole top, it's like a rectangular section and it goes about back to the crown of my head. I'm gonna spray all of this with the rusk. Woo, got it in my eye. With the rusk, kinda kinda brush it through here so I don't have to do that every time. Now, I'm gonna start in the back. So whether you're parting your hair in the middle or the side, start in the back. And I'm going to go all the way across like this. So I've got a really clean section back there. It's about a half an inch thick this way. And I'm going to take a bristle teasing brush and I'm just going to tease only about an inch up. And I'm going to spray a little bit of this Kenra dry texture spray back there and up the shaft of the hair. So I've teased this back section back here and you're just basically going to curl this back. You've got to make sure that your ends are taken care of, that they're not um, crimped. So I'm getting those in good. Now I'm just going to curl this all the way back. So basically just kind of rolling it. And I'm feeling of it until I can feel this outer part of hair get really hot. Then I'm just going to kind of turn the curling iron and toggle it. And then I'm just going to kind of let all of that go. Okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing. You might have to re I'm gonna recurl that the main reason for doing that is just to get your volume at the crown so if you need to kind of come over and recurl then you can certainly do that okay there we go much better I'm gonna spray that okay next part so now let's see I want to take one more section all the way across we're going to do the same thing. I'm actually going to spray the Kenner Dry Texture Spray first. Shake that out. And then we're just going to back comb this. Now, you don't want to be able to see any of the, the rattiness, so I'm kind of smoothing that out. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Making sure I get those ends which is kind of, that definitely takes a lot of practice. I've been doing this for a long time and I still, it kind of takes a little extra finesse for me too. So I'm rolling this all the way backward. And then while I'm waiting on this to cool, I'll kind of explain this to you a little bit more. So if you roll, if you tease and then roll your hair all the way backward, that's what's going to give you that nice bump in the back. 
um, you know, the typical pageant look has a nice bump at the crown. So that's how you're going to achieve that. So I'm going to turn and then I'm going to, I'm kind of toggling this to scoot it out. And then I want to hold it here, kind of let it cool for just a second. And then I'm just going to kind of unroll it and just kind of run my fingers through it like that. Inspect it to make sure. Obviously, we'll be styling it a little more at the end. You want to spray it with hairspray. Okay, so here's where it changes whether you're parting your hair to the side or to the middle. So I'm going to do the middle. I'm going to attempt to do kind of a USA look. So I like to go right with my nose and I actually have a widow's peak right at the center of my head. So that helps me to line it up good. Now what we're going to do, if you're a middle parter, you're going to take your hair like this. Um, let's spray it with the Kendra Dry Texture Spray. And then you want to hold it up straight up, okay? Then we're going to tease it. Now let's smooth this out right here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna wrap this like a whoops, there's a bang, like a wand but you want to make sure that you're wrapping it flat you want to make sure it's not twisting as you're wrapping it and the only reason I'm doing that is because this extra long barrel the clip doesn't go all the way to the end so um, it just made it a little bit easier for me to wrap it like this. Okay, so now I'm feeling the warmth and I'm gonna let this go. And then I'm just gonna kinda brush through this. Now I'm gonna take and tease this a little bit more. So that there's a good lift. So see before you brush it out, there's a really good lift there. So I'm just gonna kinda lightly brush it out. And remember, we haven't brushed out any of the bottom part yet. But I just wanna make sure we're in the right direction on this top part before moving forward. So onward to this side. So let's see here. We've got that part already. Okay. So let's spray the Kenra Dry Texture Spray on the root and up there a little bit. Holding this upright, we're going to back comb. Smooth it out a little bit around the front. And then I am, so what you want to do is you want to kind of curl it in a way that you still have your bump but it's still kind of going backwards. So I'm going to curl, making sure you get those ends. I'm gonna curl like this. And touch that and, and make sure that that gets nice and warm there. And then I'm gonna drop it. Okay, I think I like that side more than this side. Okay, so I'm going to spray that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger brush and I'm going to brush through the rest of this. Not completely. I'm going to brush through this also. Brush through the back. If you're wearing extensions, um, you are already going to be getting some nice volume. So, um, you know, you don't have to tease the you know what out of your hair to get good volume so let's brush this side so I'm just gonna tease this back here to kind of match the height level of the other side which I really like Now 
then I'm just gonna spray I'm gonna kind of hold my head back like this spray my bangs out of the way gravity can be your friend when you're styling or not your friend when you're holding your head backwards and you spray it that is gravity working for you because you're spraying it away from your face and then when you're satisfied with everything just spray everything good with your Kenra number 25 hairspray and you are ready for your pageant and that is the end of today's pageant hairstyling tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave a comment on YouTube, Facebook, or on our blog, and we'll definitely get back to you. Um, feel free to contact me through my website, mhdbeauty.com, um, to inquire about your pageant. I do travel and do hair and makeup for pageants all over America, and I would love to come help you um, with your pageant. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.